everyone. How is everyone doing today? Great. Okay. My talk is called The Possibility to Change Your Life is an Opportunity Away. Now, apart from just sounding like a very complicated TED talk being given by a reality show contestant, that's me. This is also, this statement is also the reason why I'm standing here today amongst all you super smart kids um, who've made it to this amazing institution called Shahid Subdev College of Business Studies, where I also made it eight years ago. Now, I mean, what was the possibility that Nitha graduates CBS with a placement at Google wins 10 lakh rupees in a mobile app reality show while she's in college, becomes a Miss India finalist, takes part in India's biggest reality show, and eventually finds her passion and profession as a social media content creator. Eight years ago, to baby Nitaba, who was studying in a dilapidated government school building, Mill Colony, um, and contemplating whether she should have chai at KKT stall or attend a financial markets and services class, this would have sounded like a far-fetched dream, maybe even a joke. So let's try and understand what a possibility means since the topic of today's TED is a prism of possibilities, right? Now, a possibility is defined as a thing that may happen. And guess what? All of this did happen. Well, the possibilities are endless, guys. Everyone could want different things in life. So, most of you, knowing how aggressively competitive CBS kids are, would want to get the best college placement, right? Who wants to get the best college placement? Show of hands. Most of you. Some of you might want the possibility of becoming an astronaut. One of you might want to become a chef. Or some of you might want to just get married and have kids, right? To each his own. But one common factor, according to me, that enables anyone and everyone to turn the possibilities into an actual reality and opportunity. Not just an opportunity lying in front of you and you doing nothing about it, but you grabbing the opportunity and taking the appropriate amount of risk to convert it and make it happen for you into something that you want to achieve in your life. The simplest example, I know it's sounding like a lot of jargon. Are you guys with me till now so far? Yeah? Yes, no, maybe? Amazing. The simplest example of what I just said would be the difference between a nerd and an all-rounder. And you know, these are things which when we are kids, we write in school, but we really don't understand these differences. Okay? So what is a nerd doing when he's in school or she is in school? She is just identifying one opportunity, which is that if I study hard and if I study well, I will score well and I will do well in my life, in my school life, right? But what is an all-rounder doing? An all-rounder is identifying multiple opportunities in his or her school life. If I study hard, I will score well. If I participate in sports, I will be physically... Hello, sir. Hello. If I stand for prefect, I will learn leadership. If I'm kind to my schoolmates, I will develop really good bonds of friendship. Didn't we all hate that popular kid at school? I, I sure did. The point being that when we are little, we have seen how opportunities can change the course of your life. It's just that we weren't mature enough to realize that these opportunities are in front of us, right? I had 91% in my 10th, oh sorry, in my 12th boards. I was devastated. Can we just have a moment for that? I was devastated because I had 91% in my boards. Like, the Indian education system is really hard on us, isn't it? I broke down and I felt like my dream of being in the best college of Delhi University has been shattered because 91 ke cut off the best college, mein hone wala, right? Yes, no, maybe? Yeah. And my dream college at that point was SRCC, Sri Ram College of Commerce, right? A few hours later, after all the crying, I started counting my best bets. What is the next best institution or which is that one college that give, could give SRCC a run for its money? There was this only one college and it had a separate entrance exam to get through it with a very tough entrance exam. And right after getting my board result, the possibility of studying for another month to clear this entrance exam seemed like a really, really bad idea. But 
it was and what was it an opportunity it was the opportunity to reclaim my dream of studying in a top notch institution and an hour after my result you know what i started doing i started solving the last year question paper of this said college and i made it to that college it's called sscbs at that time i did not focus on the gloomy possibility of being in a bad college of facing my super smart friends who had scored 96 and 97% and were obviously on top of the world and would be having a gala time now but what i focused on instead at that time was the only opportunity i had to guarantee me the life that i wanted had i focused on the possibility of failure or on the possibility that oh my god now i can stay for another month while all my friends are partying away to glory had i channeled all my energies on the negative emotions i would have surely missed grabbing the opportunity and spent my next few years being a mediocre student fun fact every day every minute every second there is an opportunity that is around you all you need to do is identify it and grab it right for example if this auditorium were full which it isn't i was told there were 150 to 200 people here but anyway if this auditorium were full and there was some chaos outside and one person who's sitting here getting extremely bored of my ted talk has the opportunity to get up and leave right but another person who's probably standing outside waiting to get a seat into this ted talk who really wants to hear what i have to say has the opportunity to move back inside so point being you are surrounded by opportunities at all times right the oxford dictionary defines opportunity as a favorable time or situation to do something but you will be surprised to know what most of us do when an opportunity comes knocking our way we hesitate and we say no because as human beings we are programmed to resist change and to avoid any sort of risk and that is because all opportunities do not come on a bed of roses they do not look pretty and most of them require you to get down and dirty and take some action which is not very comfortable some might even require you to take a huge risk and what do human beings do they avoid risk they hesitate and they say no so coming back to my story since you guys to be lost 3 years after completing what i call one of the most holistic education in cbs i think those were the three best years of my life now you have a great campus so guys i would highly recommend you to make the most of it and do whatever you can because this institution the professors here are definitely going to give you that platform to turn your life around so make full use of it so after 3 years of complete completing that what i would call the most wonderfully holistic education i landed myself a job at google where i worked for two and a half years the best workplace amazing work life balance great peers but despite all of this i was not happy i always loved social media i loved clicking pictures posing for selfies sharing my travels to an Im imaginary audience that i did not have back then i only had 1000 followers on instagram but my friends used to make a lot of fun of me they were like who are you talking to nitha ba like there is nobody listening to you to be pretending to like talk to like 1 million people but you only have 1000 so just relax and even when i had 1000 people my profile was public because i thought maybe by some miracle that 1000 converts into 1 million slowly i realized that google was a great job but i wanted something more from life and i wanted to follow my passion now what did i do i started looking for for opportunities exactly so i decided that i have to take part in miss india now out of nowhere i just wanted to take part in miss india because i thought maybe if i win this will be a great platform for me to be um you know really active on social media and people will get to know who i am so i took part in miss india and uh, i failed miserably i didn't even make it to the finale and i was heartbroken cuz 6 months of working hard for it and then i went to bombay with my dad and like coming back without even making it to the finale was just heartbreaking for me after that i decided that now i'm going to go 
work out, make abs, and then try again. And that failed miserably too. Six months of working out like a crazy person, I actually became the unhealthiest version of myself, ended up losing a lot of weight, and just was really sad. A few months later, I decided to go on a trip to Thailand with one of my Google employees, co-workers, who also happened to be a CBS senior of mine, a as, um, and also my best friend at that point. So she and I went on a trip to Thailand and we decided, okay, you know what? We love traveling. We love making videos. Let's become travel content creators. And we started a travel YouTube channel. And that failed miserably too. So now I decided, what am I going to do with my life? Let's look for more opportunities. So while browsing the internet one day, I came across Big Boss, which is the Indian version of the popular reality show Big Brother. And in India, usually they would always have celebrities to be a part of the show. But in that year, when I was looking for an opportunity, somehow they also invited the Aam Janta to audition and be a part of the show. The first thought that came to my head was opportunity. The second thought that came to my head was, have you lost your mind, Nathaba? What's wrong with you? Like, you have a job at Google. You want to apply to Big Boss now, like really. Fear of judgment, hesitation to move away from a corporate job, a settled life, the thought of exposing myself to a worldwide audience. I mean, I was so sure this was a bad idea. But being programmed the way I am, you know what I did next. I said, let's give this opportunity a shot. And I applied. I sent a video. And after clearing multiple rounds of auditions and personal interviews just the way CBS has, I somehow found myself to be selected amongst lakhs of contestants who had participated to be one of the top eight in India's biggest reality show. Sounds like all fun and games, right? Not really. The moment I got onto the show, I had to make a tough choice, probably the toughest choice yet, and do what almost every opportunity asks you to do which is to take a risk. The moment I got onto the show, I had to decide to quit my job at Google because Google didn't approve a three month long leave. Because if I happened to stay on the show, I could have sta stayed for three months. But if I happened to get eliminated from the show, I could have been eliminated in a week, right? You know how the format of the show works. So the thought came to my head that, you know, I quit my job, fine, it's a big platform, but what if I get eliminated in the first week, then who is going to know who Nithaba Call is? Nobody, and I will be left jobless too. Probably the toughest decision of my life had to be taken. It was a gamble at that point for sure, but I was ready to risk it for the biscuit. So because this was an opportunity very few people got, I realized that this is not something that I should just let go of. Because if I would have let go of it, I would have le been left with another fatal outcome of letting go of an opportunity, which is regret. What if my life would have been different? What if my passion, I could have found my passion after the show? What if I had won the show? I did not want to lead a life of what ifs. So I decided to give it a daring go. And I went ahead and quit my job two hours before entering the show. I literally wrote my email in the vanity van and then I entered the show. Just gave it my all. Only to come out after 91 days. I happened to survive on the show for that long. From 4,000, my audience grew to 400,000 in a span of six months. I was able to multiply everything by 100x just by grabbing the opportunity and knocking out the fear and the hesitation that comes naturally with it. No controversies, no embarrassing stories, no shame, only joy, and now a growing family of 2 million on social media. Thank you. Today, I run a team of five full-time employees, one of whom is sitting here recording me. I'm also signed as an exclusive artist with one of the biggest influencer marketing agencies in the country, which is based out of Bombay. I run a YouTube channel, a Facebook page, an Instagram handle, and work on social media campaigns with brands that I dreamed of working with as a little girl. The two and a half years of experience of working as a digital marketing consultant with Google definitely pay, paid off and it helped me scale and make this a profitable business. 
So social media today, which actually started as a passion for me, is now my full-time profession. And now I'm an entrepreneur who's running it as a full-time, profitable, scalable business. And the journey has only just begun. So what I'd like to leave you all today with is a few action items so you guys can also grab opportunities that come your way, which I'm sure they will. If you come here and tell me that about probably you got lucky and you had all these opportunities fall into your lap, then I would say, no way, that's not true. I was just aware, my ears and eyes were open and I was grabbing whatever came my way. So these are the action items I'd like to leave you with. Number one, assess yourself. Know your strengths, know your weaknesses, know who you are, know what drives you, know what does not drive you. Even if you're not sure what your passion is, you should know what your passion isn't. You know, just eliminate the things that you don't feel strongly about and maybe you will somehow find a thing that you do feel strongly about. Number two, be aware. When I was in CBS, I just said yes to everything, which is actually point number three, say yes. So I'll come to be aware later. I'll talk about be, saying yes. When I was in CBS, I said yes to everything. The music society being, being, part of, uh, being a part of Synergy. Synergy still exists. Yeah. Be it the music society, be it being the Nokia brand ambassador from college. I just kept saying yes to everything without really caring about what the outcome of these opportunities is going to be. And at that point, I really didn't see any tangible results. But when I look back at my journey now, I feel like all of these small, small opportunities that I said yes to have contributed to being enabling me be where I am today. Take calculated risks. I'm not saying leave everything, quit your job, go crazy, take part in a reality show. That's not what I'm propagating. What I'm trying to say is take a risk when your gut says this is right. Take a risk when you think you have a backup plan. Take a risk when you are sure that this really want from your life but do take risks don't just stay settled in your comfort zone because good things and amazing things will only happen when you step out of your comfort zone be aware keep your eyes and ears open don't pass off things as oh this is okay this is something that will require too much time this will this is something that will require too much energy just say yes to everything and finally keep trying the way i did I tried 500 different things before I actually found my passion in social media. Had I not done Big Boss, I probably wouldn't have found my profession either. But if I wouldn't have kept trying, I wouldn't have been here today. So just don't give up. And finally, keep smiling and have a good day. Thank you.